Hi everybody, this is John here with Redenso. Hi, I'm Randy. And today we're going to be talking a little bit about the new Dragon Eye gun. Uh, there's a couple different types of Dragon Eye guns. You have the compact and you have the full size, but the main thing to keep in mind about both of them is that they have totally changed the entire laser gun industry. And if you have an older laser jammer or radar detector, you're probably not protected. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and especially with this, this, this one here, the full size, you can actually attach a camera to it and police officers can shoot you from overpasses and shoot you from the rear, and it just instantly takes a photo of the back end of the vehicle, and they don't even need to pull you over. Um, there is an actually a big thing about it recently in the media where a town in Norton, Ohio... It's not too far away from us, actually. Yeah, um, it was 3,000-plus speeding citations within two months, and it was uh, $1.1 million dollars that they got from them. And I think that was just for the city. So yeah. the total amount of fines collected was, I think, two and a half or three million dollars in a couple yeah. of months. And for those of you that don't know, that's a pretty small town. So if you take those numbers and extrapolate them to an area like maybe Atlanta, which is where Dragon Eye's headquartered in the US, or I mean, where else do they now? They're in California, New York, Connecticut Texas. has them, Texas. Um, the yeah. fines and the amount of tickets they're issuing is pretty staggering. Um, I'm, I'm glad you actually brought up the dragon cam because that's a whole new type of thing. I think uh, I think LTI had a laser gun that automatically issued citations, but it's important to keep in mind that this is very different than a standard speed and red light camera where it's just some robot basically doing this issuing. This is a real life police officer that doesn't have to pull the uh, driver over. You yeah. can just sit there and as you said, ticket, ticket, yeah, ticket, on the ticket, state laws. ticket. Yeah. And you don't even know you've been hit until three weeks later. I know that's a big issue right now in Dayton and Columbus, Ohio. Um, also, I know New York has them. Um, mm -hmm. So why? Wh what's the big deal with this particular gun? Why is this so hard to jam compared to, to everything else? Uh, the, this, I mean, with the Dragon Eye, it's, it's got a very old pulse rate hmm. you know, compared to the other ones. So old-fashioned laser guns... Um, in most existing laser guns, they operate with a pretty simple principle where they shine a, a beam of laser, which is actually broken up into pulses, um, and then they measure the reflections to get a, a return speed on the car. Mm -hmm. And laser jammers are able to disrupt that math that the guns do because if you know what the fixed pulse rate is, in other words, just to make it easy, maybe every few milliseconds it's a pulse, every 20 milliseconds it's a pulse, it's consistent. Mm -hmm. If you know that, you can insert pulses at the precise time to jam. The Dragon Eye um, and a couple of other guns, like the, I think the Stalker XLR, for example, yep. they change all that by using a variable pulse rate. So instead of having predictably spaced pulses, it's completely random. Mm -hmm. So you can measure the pulses coming from a Dragon Eye gun for 20 minutes straight, and there's no pattern. So if most laser jammers don't know the pattern, you can't jam it. Well, then also, you know, the makers of this, they actually change the algorithm often, too. Yep. You know, yeah, that, but that, you is not, that? that is not an urban myth. The, the owner of Dragon Eye, the creator of Dragon Eye, just like we're enthusiasts about driving and countermeasures, he's an enthusiast about taking down drivers and countermeasure users. So they'll actually push updates. These guns, they'll change the algorithm. Um, it's just impossible to stay on top of if you're behind the game. So there is actually one laser jammer that can defeat it because it operates in a different way. And actually, they have a patent on, I believe, the method used to defeat the Dragon Eye, and that's the AL Priority, which we chose to partner with for our Redenso kit. Yeah, and when you're getting shot with the Dragon Cam, you're talking less than 500 feet away hitting the back of the car. I mean, Correct. these guys are shooting from over the, the, the overpass and there's even like a fencing that they shoot through so you're not even going to be able to see them if you're driving underneath the overpass until you look back and you see them behind you and that's why for us we really believe that if you're going to yeah. be protected you should go all the way yeah it doesn't make sense to be protected sometimes when you're talking about something that could affect you and your driving record and your your wallet for a couple of years yeah plus uh and in, especially in norton they were actually doing this in the construction zone at the time which is double fines double fine, at least yeah. in ohio it's double fines i don't know about other states but and yeah that's a huge fine so anyway i hope you guys learned a little bit about the dragon eye guns uh i guess the main takeaways are that there are several different types and you're probably not protected if you have an older system and a system that uses a laser jammer other than the alp um, it's not everywhere yet to be fair there are some areas where most systems on the market will give a driver complete protection but I know it's my preference to be protected against the future as well because we've seen these things starting to spread. Um, so we just want to give you a heads up about that, and you can rest assured that 
We have many different Dragon Eyes, all the versions, and we always try to keep on top of this so that we can keep you safe. Mm -hmm. And plus, with more and more of the media talking about this, other police you know, officers are going to find out about the Dragon Eye, and they're going to want to use it too. So it's going to probably spread even fa you know, faster with more media you know with 1.1 million dollars being made by one little per tiny town, yeah. one little tiny county and that's that's a lot of money for them i mean so yeah great Be careful everyone thanks for watching guys i appreciate it and look forward to next time see ya